Um, just move on to music now. You see, we've got sort of this cover flow sort of uh, look to it. And you can just switch through your music just by swiping again on there, and then just hit the play button. Oops, wrong button there. Just to play the music. Um, and you can see we've got the uh, artist name, album name, and the song name just beneath the cover art, and uh, the, the little bar here just to show you how far through the song you are. Uh, we've also got library options there so we can go in and have a look at various playlists and such. Uh, search for your music through now playing, artists, albums, playlists, songs, genres, composers and even just purchase music. Um, just move across now to the calendar. You can see uh, all the entries here that actually have um, information in them. Each date that has information in has a little uh, triangle in the corner here just to let you know that something's going on on that day if we just hit today for example we get the weather for today uh, we get any appointments that we've got and the option to make new appointments we can just switch back and forth with these arrows at the top uh, only obviously shows weather for uh, the current day and the next four days so any information that you could otherwise get from the weather menu uh, so after that it won't show the weather uh, just move along now to the next one, which is the stocks. Any of these tabs can also be uh, rearranged, um, or you can remove tabs altogether. For example, if you don't look at the stocks, you can actually remove the stocks tab, so you don't have to um, see it. Uh, and then we've got different stocks, which again, if you had enough, you could scroll through with a simple uh, gesture on the display. Uh, let's move across now to the settings, uh, and here you can uh, there's the customize tabs option there. So I just wanted to show you as well the, um, the where else in the Windows Mobile interface uh, HTC have done their sprucing up to make it look a bit nicer. You can see if we go into the start menu, now we have this uh, user customizable shortcut screen. So you can add, as you can see here, lists and lists of customizable um, shortcuts uh, into this screen just to uh, put your most used functions directly at your fingertips. Um, various different things in there. We've got YouTube that's pre-installed, Google Maps that's pre-installed, and RSS Reader, a couple of games like Tita and stuff like that. Um, they've also done a nice job in the contacts menu, so if we actually click directly into this uh, menu here, we've got the contact information, any text messages from that particular contact, any emails from that particular contact, um, and just any information here. Also, you can link people's profiles on this device with a Facebook profile. So, uh, their picture up here would be their Facebook profile image, and then uh, you'd have any of their updates in this screen as well. Um, also, got last tab here, which is just the um, uh, cool log tab. From here as well, uh, HTC have made a nice job of covering up with the uh, phone dialer. So, if we go into the contacts list here. You can see it's done a nice job. We've got uh, contact images at the side and also because uh, we've got outstanding emails there we've got a little exclamation mark next to Peter Griffin's name. Uh, and we can get in the side here and look at all contacts directly from uh, any of the alphabetical letters. So if we want to skip to uh, Griff, uh, Peter Griffin for example, just go to G. It will take us there. We've just not got enough contacts in uh, to show you properly. Um, from here as well we can just see the favourite contacts, uh, updates and events of my own contacts, so for example my Facebook uh, updates would go in there and then a call log again for uh, everyone's calls. Um, just moving along as well back to the uh, web browser here, um, just get, drop back into the mobile build my page here and show you the uh, zoom bar. As you can see we just move our thumb across the bar from right, uh, left to right here we can slowly zoom in on uh, the page and zoom in very close as well. Very handy. Uh, you can also, if you want to, um, if you don't want to use the bar, you can just zoom in by double tapping a certain section of the web page. Like that. And you can use the bar to zoom back out if you wish. That works very well and it's very fluid, and obviously, because of the uh, keyboard, you can go into landscape mode uh, and enter text a lot easier with the keyboard. As I mentioned, the uh, landscape mode on the Touch Pro 2, 
you can see here we just uh, go through some of the menus in landscape mode uh, HTC have actually optimized the uh, display for landscape as well so um, all the uh, shortcuts at the bottom here disappear if we tap this little button we get them back up uh, and they work just as well as in um, portrait mode if you flick to any of the panes uh, the screen's been optimized for the landscape mode so here we've got all the um, the forecast for the next four days instead of being across the bottom of the display they just moved up to the side here to fit the screen better it's the same with um, any of the screens everything's still perfectly laid out and easy to get to shows HTC really thought about this and they've made a nice job of uh, the interface as well so that's the HTC Touch Pro 2 uh, I'm Russ Jeffers from mobileburn.com